our career pathways, creating experiences that inspire students for success. Today, we have 86 girls seeing the movie Hidden Figures as it relates to STEM and being a female in STEM. So we invited the girls to come out, and they are here from three different schools, Heritage, Booker C. Washington, and Crittenden Middle Schools. How terrible is it that you have to leave school in the middle of a day and come to a movie? <laughs> this is a tremendous story, and the, the most tremendous part is that it's true. And we owe a lot of gratitude to the people who are in this movie. These are true stories, and you're going to see some of the struggles and challenges. Now, what they've done, they were very brilliant people who never gave up. Okay, that's the takeaway. Yeah, right across the hall over there. Once the movie came out, we thought it was a great idea for these girls to see this movie as it conquers a lot of adversity, given the time frame when women didn't really work. Thank you. But these women were working at NASA as engineers and as mathematicians, which was pretty much unheard of. It's good because um, it's inspiring for all of us because those women came a really long way and back then they were taken for granted like they were supposed to clean the houses and stuff but they proved that we can do much more than that. I am extremely proud of my grandmother and I, I'm extremely proud of the fact that everybody says now that I look like her so that makes it even a little bit more sweeter. <laughs> to me the opportunity that these that the career pathways and you know, Jeff Kerr and Chantel have presented and Mrs. Boykins have given these girls the opportunity. Like you said, it's career pathways. It's just a pathway to, to great and exceptional things. As, as a shipbuilder, I'm proud because I, I now know that my company, which I've instilled 16 years of my hard work in life and dedication, has groomed me into being a great shipbuilder. And I know that these girls, eventually, when they get their engineering degrees, whether they work at the shipyard or just do engineering in general, architecture, whatever, I know that the shipyard has a place for engineering to be for engineers to be great. I'm hoping that after this movie is over that the girls have a full understanding that they too can be Katherine Johnson or Dorothy Vaughn. They can work at NASA and be successful. They can work at Newport News Shipbuilding as an engineer and be successful just like their mentors.